Father, I thank you for there is no one like you. You are God who rules in the kingdom of man. There is no one like you. For no man can come to you except you draw the person unto thyself. And so, Lord, I glorify thy name because you are here that order my steps on what I am doing now. So, Lord, I dedicate this video unto you, I pray. Let it be a medium to bless, a medium to lift, a medium to make every impossibility in the life of my people possible. In the name of the resurrected Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen. Father, thank you because I know you have answered this prayer. Amen. 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 All hail Biafra, the land of my forebear, that sacred land. We must restore you to glory soon. And I pray the rising sun will shine above all our enemies soon. Beloved, I bring you greetings and word of hope in the name of the resurrected Jesus Christ. Once again, welcome to the hour of prayer with me for Biafrans and Biafra nation. I am still your humble servant. Evangelist Lotachuku Okolia. Today, I have got three important topics to share with you. I implore you to lend me a listening ear. Number one topic is about Uchemefo, the deputy leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Number two topic is Biafrans, the most vulnerable people under the sun. Number three is united we, the Biafrans, united we shall disintegrate. Nigeria soon. And I want to start by giving time to discuss about Uchemefo, the deputy leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Listen to me quickly. You that goes out there yapping. I want to quickly tell you something very important. If you claim not to know what you are doing, listen carefully. Any form of insubordination to Uchemefo 
is directly to Namde Kano. Hear me again. Any form of insubordination to Uche Mefo is directed to Namde Kano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. I advise you that engage in such malicious act to kindly stop now. The world is watching. I know the places I have been to. I know the world leaders and the people that I'm in communication with. They are monitoring what we do and what we say online. Disease from such character. Uche Mefo represents Namde Kano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra worldwide. Any insubordination or attack on his person is directly to Namde Kano. Be warned. Be warned. I want to quickly go to the topic of Biafrans, the most vulnerable people on earth. Number two topic. As I said in my last video, that no man would live under the condition of Biafrans on earth today and not revolt. I meant every word. I am speaking out of experience I have gathered by time. Through my journey in life, from the sacred land Biafra, which is currently under siege by the expired Republic of Nigeria, I have gone to the four corners of the earth Listen to me carefully, for I have discovered that my people, the Biafrans, are the most vulnerable people on earth. The most oppressed and the most hated under the sun. Situation and the atrocities committed by the Nigerian government and the world at large are not reported by the world, by the world media out of hatred. The atrocities being committed against my people by the Nigerian government are not reported by the world media out of hatred. I am a sojourner and I talk out of experience. In the West, in the Western world where we live today, Where human rights is regarded as a necessity for every human being under the sun. Rights to protection of life does not apply to the Biafrans. Lead my lips. Rights to the protection of life does not apply to the Biafrans the most vulnerable people on earth. Any request for protection of life made by any Biafran dies on arrival. Any request for protection of life made in the Western world, the land of human rights, dies on arrival. Why? To create fear in us. Two, to remove confidence. Pa. Three, and to make 
us to know that we don't belong into the system. Thereby open up, open us up, open us up, open us up. Hear me. I am agitated. To be very honest to you. Those character is thereby open my people up to crime as the only alternative to survive in their new faith. For when a man is rejected in the system, when a man is not given what others got, the most vulnerable people, they will be left with no alternative than to look for something to do to sustain themselves. This is a typical reality on the day-to-day -day life of my people in Europe. Why? Why such character? Is to condemn them as the most hated people on earth. I make bold to say that the West knows that Biafrans are prisoners of conscience. They know. We are prisoners of conscience. The West knows that. In our land, our resources are being forcefully taken. Our lives are being wasted and nobody cares. Our territory has been under occupation by Nigerian soldiers for many decades. Killing and raping our women. Nobody cares. Hear me, Biafrans. This fight is for us. You have to wake up. I call upon you today. Anywhere you are, rise up and support Biafra restoration today. Nigerian government and her army must be forced out of our territory. Hear me again. Nigerian government and her army must be forced out of our territory. Our forefathers did not hand over our territory to them. It was taken by force. I tell you, we will not get our territory back through any peaceful resolution. How do you think that it is possible to reclaim our territory through a peaceful resolution? I warn you, Anybody with such gullible suggestion should be quickly disregarded. It is a total deceit and not obtainable in recovering territory. My beloved, I would want us to form a solid united front to counter any form of oppression against our people. I want us to form a united front to counter any form of oppression against our people. A united front that nothing can break. I've got a lot of words of encouragement from many of you. Some thanked me and confessed to have retired from the struggle <clears throat> because of certain issues that we are not properly treated. As a result of that, they were demoralized to fight on. But after watching my video, they regained the strength to fight. They regained the strength to support IPOB. I have a question for you. If you get offended at any slightest provocation 
and abandon this God's giving project of restoring Biafra to give our people rest, to give our people peace and recognition in the world. Who do you expect to do it for you? Nobody. We must fall down and rise up again. That is normal. Don't be afraid. It's our right to fight so that our nation will be restored back to glory. Topic number three. United, we shall disintegrate Nigeria soon. Beloved, try to understand it that the only thing the enemy respect is power. Very important. The only thing the enemy fear is power. And the only language the enemy understands is violence. If your enemy is stronger than you, that enemy will waste you as Nigerian government is wasting our people now. Listen, my beloved. No conflict, no peace. Listen, my beloved. No violence, no victory. Listen, my beloved. No battle, no breakthrough. Listen, my beloved. No fight, then no progress. No contention, no contentment. No aggression, no possession. Listen, no war, no enlargement. Many things would not come easily to us unless we fight. We have to discard every form of gentility and embrace brutality in order for us to achieve our freedom as a people. Stand out and support this noble cause. Stand out against the oppression of the world on my people. Stand out against the oppression of Nigeria against the, the Biafran people. Freedom is not given. Freedom is taken. If you remain dormant, if you remain stagnant, you will be under slavery till eternity. I admonish every one of you stand out today and support this noble cause. Freedom is not given. Freedom is taken. God bless the land of Norway where I am and God bless the Republic of Biafra. Amen. And once again, my beloved, I want to quickly use this little time to pray, just short prayer with you. For I know that ever since we started these weekly prayers, many positive things have happened and many good doors has been opened for this struggle by the Lord. Listen, God is connecting us already to the people that matters. Doors to the White House is already open. And the Afro restoration is loaded. It's not by your own making. I tell you, that ever since we initiated this prayer, ever since we dedicated our life to pray, ever since we dedicated everything that concerns us to the Lord for the sake of the freedom of our people, things have begun to take its original course. And I pray now, Father, hear my prayer. Protecting Nandi Kano and other comrades in Nigerian prison against every evil plan 
against every evil plan by Nigeria. In the name of the resurrected Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Tubaraya mama, Tubaraya mama, Si ya no me la, Si ya no me la, Is it Jesus, Tubaraya mama, Si ya no me la. I must tell you, there are so many things that I can no longer do today. Why? Because of you. For the sake of the freedom of my people. For the sake of talking to Jehovah to arise in his anger and save my people as he promised. Many of you may look at me and say how his hair is being unkept. You will not understand. I don't like to keep hairs. But I have my personal reason. Bear with me. By time, it will be off. I have received so many inbox. But you will not understand. It's because of you. My body is at its, as, as it is, unkept. That we may break heaven. That we may open the doors that seems impossible to open. For the sake of the freedom of my people. Quickly, I want to pray, Lord, as your children pray, lift them up higher in the name of the resurrected Jesus. I am that I am, there is no one like you, Papa. I want to lead my people into only three prayer points now. And Father, as they open their mouth as well to pray, hear them. Do that, Lord, with the request. For the progress and restoration of our dear nation, Biafra. Father, now I pray. Hear me. Oh, my Father. Biafra is our land. Appear and set us free from Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. This is prayer point number one. Father, Biafra is our land. Appear and set us free from Nigeria in the name of the resurrected Jesus Christ. And prayer point number two says, Power to arise and shine. Come upon Biafra nation. Come upon Biafra restoration now. In the name of the resurrected Jesus Christ. Power to arise and shine. Come upon Biafra restoration now. In the name of the resurrected Jesus Christ, I pray. Prayer point number three says, The Spirit of the living God incubate Biafra restoration in the name of the resurrected Jesus. Father, I pray, incubate Biafra restoration movement now. Incubate Biafra restoration movement now. Papa, do it because you are God alone and we have you as our Father. Thank you because I know you have answered this prayer in the name of the resurrected Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen. My beloved, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for following me. Thank you very much for your contributions towards this job. I implore you to do more. Do whatever positive to support this restoration process of our people. We, 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 we are the only people that can make this to become a reality. The world is watching to see our action towards restoration of our dear land, Biafra. Once again, I would like to invite you sincerely to join us every Wednesday through Skype, 8 o'clock Biafra time, to pray for Nande Kano and other Biafra comrades in the prison that God may lead them that God may guide them that God may sustain them against the wiles of the enemy against the agenda of satanic republic of Nigeria join us for prayer is the key the Lord is he that have chosen us to be his own people don't be afraid no man can hurt you 
as long that you are genuine, as long that you keep your, your mind towards the maker of the heavens and the earth, as long that you accept him as your father, no man on earth can hurt you because the Lord is he that rules in the kingdom of man. God bless you and God lift your family and may the Lord sustain you in everything you lay your hand upon. I am still your beloved brother, Evangelist Lotachuku Okolie. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Amen.